Hello everyone, in this video here we'll be doing a demonstration on how to clean the rims on your vehicle. As you can see, uh, this rim I have here does have a fair amount of brake dust on it. As some of you might know, this stuff can be uh, very hard to clean off your rims. It uh, has a tendency to somewhat be a baked on finish on there and uh, most products don't actually remove it too well. It is fairly work intensive here. And in this video here I'll be showing you what products I do use and uh, what I find that works best for myself actually. Now the two cleaners which I'll be using in this video here is Spray 9. This is basically just a multi-purpose cleaner. Uh, you can purchase this at your local grocery store, hardware store, or possibly auto parts dealer. Uh, now this usually does work on most applications if your rims are dirty. Uh, it's usually for the dirt that isn't, uh, isn't so hard to clean off itself. I find it does work great. And for this product here, this is uh, MR82 Alumabrite. Um, this product here is a hydrofluoric and sulfuric based acid cleaner. Now this is used by uh, most uh, car lots or detail shops themselves. Uh, when I worked as a detailer we did actually use a uh, acid based cleaner itself. Now this stuff here is actually concentrated based so it does need to be mixed with water. Um, the mixed ratio for this particular product here was uh, 10 parts water to one part of acid itself. Now uh, this does vary between uh, whatever the manufacturer specifications are. Uh, possibly may find something similar out there. Maybe it's a little bit stronger mix or maybe a little bit weaker mix. It all depends. Now as for purchasing this stuff, I've purchased that at my local uh, Crown Oil Spray dealer. Uh, other places might carry it. It's hard to say. Uh, possibly any, uh, any industrial suppliers uh, for detail shops or uh, any uh, places who supply for the automotive dealer themselves and possibly auto parts stores. As you can see here, I've already had the uh, both solutions put in spray bottles. Now this one here I'll be using is Spray 9 here in the spray bottle itself and this one here is already the pre-mixed um, the Illumina Bright product itself. Now as for cleaning the rims itself I'll be using uh, just toothbrushes here. I just got a dirty old toothbrush because uh, the stuff actually does stick fairly well to the toothbrush itself so just getting in the rough areas and I have a, a more coarser toothbrush. Now you can use a coarser toothbrush as opposed to a finer toothbrush because this stuff is fairly hard to cut down so it tends to be a little easier on it. As you can see, I just gave it a quick spray on the rims here. I'm just going to let them soak uh, for roughly about five minutes themselves. Uh, now, when spraying the solution on your rims itself, you, you want to make sure that this isn't in the sun because what will happen is it does uh, dry out and can be a little harder to clean off. Uh, so it does make the task uh, a little harder than it would be normally. So make sure you're in a shaded area or uh, doing this on a cooler day. Uh, now, another thing which I also found too is you actually want to clean the rims all in one shot. So if you're running a little bit on... Uh, not so much time. Uh, what you can do is just clean maybe a couple rims on your car and then continue on to the other couple the next day. Uh, what I found here is that once you start trying to clean the rims themselves, after you split on the solution and gave it just a quick clean over, it tends to be a little harder to remove uh, any of the uh, the brake dust or the dirt or grime. So it's good to do this, uh, take one good day to actually clean the rims themselves. Now, after you just let it soak for a minute, just what you want to do is just go with the toothbrush here. You can see it's just uh, it's cutting it up right away there, softening it up nicely. Now you may have to go over this a couple times here. Uh, what I find here is that uh, after you start brushing it for a while, it tends to uh, get a little gummy. So it starts to spread more than it actually starts to clean off the surface. So you want to continue to uh, rinse any of these little areas here and just rinse your toothbrush off uh, just to make it a little easier for yourself. Now you can see after I've done scrubbing this all down, I just simply go with the hose and I can just start rinsing the soap and any of the dirt off the rims themselves. Now I'm just using a regular garden hose here, but you can actually use a pressure washer if you, uh, if you wish to. As you can see there, there is still some brake dust in between the spokes itself. So basically what I'll be doing here before going on to the, uh, the Albright uh, solution, I'll be still be using the Spray 9. Just going back in here and just cleaning these areas over again, just making sure I get everything. Uh, normally what I find, you can see, uh, a little harder to see in the camera here, but there is some uh, dots in here, basically from the brake dust itself. Um, that tends to be a little harder to clean off and I find the spray 9 doesn't actually work for those spots uh, so that's actually when I use the other uh, acid solution itself. Now as mentioned earlier as you can see there still is some uh, dirt in there which uh, wasn't removed by the spray 9 itself so this is when I'll continue on with the, uh, the Illumi Luma Bright uh, product itself. I've already sprayed the Illumina Bright product on the rims themselves here uh, now I'm just basically letting them sit for uh, just a couple minutes here now as mentioned before with the spray 9 itself you want to make sure this isn't sitting in the sun where it'll actually dry out and then you'll have a harder time cleaning this off. Now once I've let this soak for a couple minutes I'm just going to go back with the, uh, the toothbrush itself and just continue on to rub all these areas where I see any dirt itself. 
Normally, if you don't have uh, too much of a buildup on it, if it isn't too serious, a lot of times uh, just putting on that Luma Bright product on the dirty areas, it'll just clean it up itself uh, automatically without any scrub downs. Now, once you've rinsed out the Luma Bright product itself, uh, you can go over it a couple times if you find that there are areas that are a little harder to clean than others. Uh, I just want to double check to make sure everything is clean. Uh, you should end up with a product that looks like this. Now obviously this is something that does take a little bit of time and uh, depending on how much time you do invest in something like this is uh, what you'll end up for a final product. As you can see these rims look uh, 100 times better than they did actually originally. Now after I will be continuing on to the back side of the rims also to clean the uh, the rear of the rim the exact same process that was used uh, to clean the front of it itself. Now thank you for watching my video. If you have any comments or questions please don't hesitate to post them below. Also please uh, subscribe to my channel and rate this video. Thank you.